This is something super, super, super valuable. Something you could take with you that you can use for months and years. I promise you will use this in 12 months and it's gonna be a beast. Imagine crafting an AI agent that is tailored uniquely to your law firm's needs and specialties. Most people engage with ChatGPT casually and sporadically. But the problem is most people date their AI and date ChatGPT. What I mean by that is you go in there and you start a conversation, you ask a question, you leave. And then whenever you have another question, you ask that question, you leave. It's the wrong way to use it. That's the way that I started off using it and I realized, no, wait, wait a minute, there's something more to it. Instead, what we wanna do is we wanna build an ongoing knowledge base with our AI agent. Why? Because the better AI is able to understand us, the better it will be able to serve us, okay? The best way to kind of look at it, this is very, this is hopefully this will resonate with you, is to treat your ChatGPT conversations as an ongoing expert. These are not conversations. These are your dedicated experts. So if you look at my experts, it's the ones that are usually have, I put an exclamation to uh, kind of put them out as ongoing experts. I have a Lemon Law expert who knows everything about Lemon Law. I have one who's a marketing expert who's very good at marketing. I have one that's helped me with this entire conference when it came to everything, when it came to the planning, the ideas, the slides, the value, the thoughts, things, the, everything in between. I have one called KBT, Yehuda. My man, what is KBT? Kehila Bene Torah, which is my synagogue that I'm part of. So make sure to have your laptop ready because we're about to go and start this exciting journey. And again, this is something you can be able to use for many, many years to come. All right, here's how to do it. I'm gonna give you a prompt that's already been custom made for us. I've optimized the hell out of this. Every word there is, is there for a reason. What you're gonna do, your job today is you're gonna personalize it. You're gonna add essentially context information about your law firm. We'll get into what those, that information is. I'll give you the placeholders for you to fill that out. And when you do that, instantly, you'll have your own dedicated AI law firm agent who knows you, who knows everything about your firm, and essentially becomes your dedicated in-house special consultant service person you could tap into for idea generation, content, your website, your life, everything you possibly think about. I'm literally releasing a beast. Your own freaking consultant AI agent. And it's amazing. It works like a charm. Again, I'm not just sharing this cool thing. I've been using this. I've been doing this for the last couple of months. And it's amazing, amazing, way more than you think. All right, get ready for a challenge because we're gonna have a contest at the end. Two parts, one, because we'll get to finally, we'll get to share those breakthroughs that we'll get out of this. So at the end, the most creative and the most effective utilization of the AI agent as voted by our peers will win Apple AirPods. How do you use it? This is what it looks like. ChatGPT prompt to create your AI law firm agent. Let me just quickly read it so you understand what we're doing with this agent. You are an AI law firm agent. Tell your AI what you want it to be. This, we're applying this in the realm of our law firm, but obviously you could also create this for other aspects as you, as you saw for other things. But let's just build this for our law firms, who's a world renowned authority in PI, car accidents, state planning, whatever that is, in your geographical location, wherever you serve your clients. If it happens to be multiple state practices, put that in there. So we're giving the context, the type of law you do, in, and wherever you, uh, you serve your clients, and you're telling it what it's good at. And a cutting edge AI tool developed to empower law firms to expand, we wanna grow, we wanna streamline things, and we wanna enhance our operations. And with the insights provided by our law firms, you'll become an unrivaled specialist who's freaking untouchable and nobody can be as good as you. However, I'm also gonna tell it what it is good at. So number one, it's good at process mapping and SOP creation, okay? You have the ability to draft detailed and easier to understand SOPs, systematically uh, mapping out the firm's operations in, that ensures consistency and boosts efficiency in daily operations. As you see, it's very detailed on purpose. These SOPs and operations best practices are from the principles of the EOS business model and the smart goal setting approach. This becomes really relevant when you actually start using it. You'll see why I give it that context. Second, it could also compile FAQs for you. As I shared, the lead nurturing page has that core component. Everybody should have one of those built for the law firm. You'll be able to create FAQs. I'll uh, give you some information, uh, some questions and answers, and you'll be able to provide even more FAQs that our prospects and clients might have. Also, it's able to create website homepage content. A lot of people struggle with this. So let's get good at that. That's also very SEO friendly. 
that it also draws in potential clients and communicates your, the, the firm's expertise and offerings effectively. It's also able to create content for you, answer non-legal questions for you, also help with marketing, advertising, and asset creation. You're an expert in the development and design of robust marketing materials and compelling advertising in the digital sphere, spanning from email campaigns to social media posts and ads across various platforms. And I think I made it even more detailed in your actual things than the one that's on the screen, including Facebook ads, TikTok ads, et cetera, YouTube ads. This not only helps to effectively communicate the firm's unique offerings, but also engages pro uh, prospective clients, leading to higher co uh, customer engagement and increased acquisition rates. And uh, yes, I'm not just filling it up, by the way, every single one of these helps, believe it or not. In this way, you will advance the firm's visibility and reputation. Also, it can help you write ads. A lot of people struggle with that, so no more. It can also help you with legal research, okay? That doesn't mean you have to completely rely on it, but it could help you open up the doors to figure out what those sources are to kind of to start your drafting and things like that. Also, it could provide customer service and you give it a goal. Your overarching goal is to foster the law firm's growth and increase operational efficiency, improve client service, and keep the firm competitive in the rapidly evolving tech dominated legal industry. You're continue, continually learning, adapting, and upgrading your capabilities to best cater to the ever changing needs of the firm. What do you do now? So the part that you have to work on today is you need to give it context. I've done my part, but now you need to put in some work. So at the end of this prompt is context. Context. I've done webinars about this. And the best way to use uh, ChatGPT and AI is context and make it as specific as possible. Well, here's the part. So here's some context about my law firm to help you become my AI law firm agent. And if the instructions say, provide as much context about your law firm as possible, okay? We're gonna do our best to answer these for yourselves today and do your best. If there's some questions that you can't answer, it's, it's all good, skip it. You could add on to it later or things that come up, you could add on to it later. So we're just gonna do our best. So don't get bugged down on this. You just, the practice matters more than the actual thing right now. But the things that we're gonna be wanting to add in there, you know, what type of law does, does your law firm specialize in? Don't just say personal injury, get very clear, say car accident, mostly car accidents, some dog bites, nothing else. Clarify those, every single one of these points. Where is your firm located? I, I think I changed this uh, uh, last night. Better than where's your law, fir uh, law firm located? I think the better thing is where do you serve your clients? So cover all the cities, states, counties, whatever that is, throw that in there. What are your ideal, who are your ideal clients? Who are they? What they, who are they? The more details as possible. They're usually, and again, you could talk in very informal terms. They're usually old white people. <laughs> and there's sometimes this types of people. Okay, throw that in there. Marketing, how do you currently market your law, your law firm? Tell it what you currently do. I spend about $5,000 a month on Facebook ads and about $3,000 a month in Google ads. And I usually get about six clients from Google ads and about four clients from Facebook ads. And here's what I do, and I'm thinking about also doing this, Google LSA, whatever, throw that in there. Technology, which CRM and tools do you use your law firm use? I currently use Clio Grow for my lead management and I use this for that. Whatever that is, throw that in there. Again, it gives, it's giving context so that the AI can better understand you because you'll see later on, it will, be, it will start bringing these things back. Oh, it looks like you use JobForm. Oh, there's a JobForm has a Zapier integration. Have you considered using Zapier integration with JobForm? Also, very important challenges. What are some of the biggest challenges your firm faces? Crucial, crucial. It's a good time to be kind of be sitting with your psychologist. Tell me all about the problems you're having, including your feelings and everything else. Just throw your feelings down on paper, your challenges and everything, all the things that you guys are bringing to me, put it down on paper. Uh, what else? What makes you special? Oh, I'm a bucket, bucket list lawyer, so maybe I can somehow incorporate that into my, into my marketing messaging. Whatever that is, whatever that makes you special, and everybody has, does have something that's special about themselves and their firms. A lot of people don't realize this. People are sitting on niches based on who you serve and how you serve them and who you are. So definitely don't forget to tap into that. And what else? Team structure. Again, we're giving, it's very comprehensive and I made it comprehensive as possible to give as much context. Who's on your team? I have two lawyers, I have three intake managers, I have three intake people, I have two paralegal, but I'm thinking about, I need to know, I need to hire two more people for this. Whatever that is, based on whatever you have and based on whatever you're trying to do. And what goals do you have for your firm? 
my goals is to live a more uh, uh, work-life balance. My goal is to get to 30 clients per month. Right now I'm at 10. Share whatever that is. And there's more, okay? The more the merrier, but don't feel forced that you have to answer all of these. Again, I made it comprehensive just to make sure that you have it all. Later on, you can come back to it and, and feed it. It's not like it's gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna be there. And again, it's a conversation because you're gonna come back to this and just feed it more. Hey, I just wanna give you more information about my law firm to help me with the challenges I'm facing. Again, just quickly go over legal trends. What are some trends that you're noticing? Maybe there's new niches that you're considering doing. You could build that in there. Your firm's history, that could potentially help with the bios. Your common questions, your FAQs that you know potential clients have. How do you work? What does your typical day look like? Your writing style, you want people you want to, you'd usually like writing in simple terms with empathy, throw that in there. How do you handle, handle client queries, client feedback, uh, case success, pricing, success stories? I just, again, I give you guys, I don't want to overwhelm you guys, but I just wanted to give you the full picture. Who would like to share some of their breakthroughs? Doesn't matter what it is, Marty's one. Marty, step up, come up, join us. Sarah, join us. Donia, join us. I found out that it writes much better than I do. And it says a lot more nice things about what I do when it gives, when I give it the proper prompts. I just asked it while I was standing up here waiting for everybody to come up here. I said, write five uh, Google ads based on the um, Google reviews. Great. What and else? I haven't read those yet. So, but, uh, <laughs> what else, good. Marty? Uh, what else? Uh, content for pretty much anything. Good. Uh, what, uh, we could also help you with your website content yes. based on website this. Website content, it gave me a couple ideas for website content. Hi, Tanya Biazzi, Michigan, uh, personal injury. Um, one of the things, so we've been using ChatGPT for a while now, uh, but I, mainly it's like delegated to somebody else to create the content for our follow-up emails. And while I was doing this exercise, one of the things I've been trying to get my team to like adopt are the philosophies of a book called Unreasonable Hospitality. So I've listened to it about 17 times at this point, every time I learn something new. So while I'm doing this and I'm getting like the responses, I said, maybe I can just ask it to insert the principles of this book that I've been trying to drill down like the throats of my team. Um, and I did it and it literally changed all the content and adopted the principles of this book that I think is phenomenal. So I, I don't know, I just, I didn't think about it like that until literally right now sitting there and then I'm even on the webinars. So I said, create a webinar because it said in one of the emails, it said, create a free webinar nurturing your personal injury clients. So then I said, okay, cool, create me the webinar and it created it. Then I said, hold on, adopt the principles of Russell Brunson's perfect webinar script. And then it literally did it, and I'm like, oh my god, this is really cool. Uh, hi everybody, Brandon Leopold, a sports lawyer uh, right here in Los Angeles. Um, I use it for everything. Uh, it's always open on my computer, so it's not new to me, but uh, the prompt is crazy. <laughs> um, the more you put in there, the more it understands and learns, but I have never had a prompt a third of that length. It's, it's, it's wild. Um, I've had it write my syllabus as well as each outline for my uh, uh, Loyola Law School sports law classes. So if you know anybody in my classes, they're being taught by Chad <laughs> GBT now. <laughs> $40,000 a semester, that's crazy. Uh, but I look at like this type of a prompt um, that oh, you just have this. Don't, don't post that. that. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't send that to the dean. Um, with Sam's prompt here, um, I asked it to uh, how we could increase our revenue or double our revenue in four months without increasing any cost other than employee expense. And then it just told me exactly what Sam's been telling me basically <laughs> for the last two years. Um, but it has some really good stuff where even like upselling, it, it's like Alex Ramosi is in the background too where it's talking about things that are probably a little more common sense, but now I can ask a follow-up question of what kind of upsells can a sports lawyer do uh, in our situation to accomplish our goals? And then it will probably tell me exactly what, um, you know, follow the trend. Amazing, let's make it more practical. So I would, another judgment that prompt I would throw in there is give me a seven day action plan that I could do on under 30 minutes to help me achieve these goals. Uh, hey everyone, Ryan Kadri. Um, side labor and employment here in LA. So uh, we use, um, we've uh, really integrated AI into our firm um, and we, we use it for everything from um, you know, legal research to proofreading and so forth. And Sarah? And um, so you did enough uh, pertinent information to prepare all your legal forms for AI. Okay, great. All right. 
no hard feelings about this, by the way, don't feel bad. <laughs> but if you're for A, let's go, let's get cheers. If you're A, use your client's information, okay? For B, Donia's applying a book. Brandon's both yours again. Follow what it tells you to do. Follow what it tells you. <laughs> D, Ryan? Uh, chatbot. Chatbot? <laughs> Sarah's? Um, be a lawyer. Be a lawyer, to help as a lawyer. Who was that, Bridget, do we know? Who got more? Uh, I see the reason on the end. All right. Clap off, clap off, all right. Clap off, clap off. For A. Emotional. For B. Congratulations. We're all winners. <laughs> yeah. This is just the beginning of actually using this in your practice. And again, don't go start new conversations. Go back to this person who knows you as well as anybody. And it really is game changing. And I want to hear back later, months later. I'm, I know I'm going to hear it. There's so many different things. I've, there's, I could go through a list of all the different ideas that I came up with up to this point. Please use it, utilize it. Feel free to share it. It's, it's super powerful. It has never been shared before.